still creepy. Oh, no. I'm just going have a look. It should be longer. There's this one down in here. Send back to me. Oh, it's just not to ask any questions. Wake up, friend. Hey? We thought you were giving up the ghost there, didn't we? Let's see another rant. Time for your morning bath, my lord. <laughs> At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. Yeah, <coughs> not so hard, was it? Here we go again. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. Hmm. <sighs> 
Just my luck. Up. All right, mates. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall yeah. we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's where you are. You're gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Yourself up, Monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! 
Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. And I curse to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites, running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was. You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Rain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Galahad, take cover! Get out of here! Find some weapons! You too! Get your asses over here! I need help! Come on, go! Let's go, you bloody bastard! Izzy! Are you alright? Damn it! Oh, God. They're slaughtering them. Ready? Let's get rid of this scum. Smoke the mates. Right. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Quiet. You think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk? Huh? You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raffaetta is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, is your problem now? Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, 
Monsieur, uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis, your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, Mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Arsenal. Strange. Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Grain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. Oui, monsieur. Sir. Remember, youth always prevails. I slew most of them. The last one got away. Ukraine, I need your up gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Why, Chapel? Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? 
We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. Precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion. The rebellion, as long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebel's influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may? Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair. You know, as well as I do, that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. 
Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is... officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your fa brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? As they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I will not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Well, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad.
Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in a black hell of coal mines. While the captains of industry feast from silver bowls. Yeah. Is this the England we want? No! What must we do? Down with the empire! Down with the queen! Down with the empire! She's dead because of you! <laughs> 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 your aristocrat. Oi! There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the coat closet. Give it here. And a fun, governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. Marquis, this is no time for sport. Well, I, I, uh, Stupid bloke. We have to find a way out of here quickly. Yes, ma'am. It's quite all right, love. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. This way, love. Get in here. Oi! Here! 
are you up to? You're in the wrong room. Where's the little frog gone? He's in there. With his friend. Oi! Get out of there! Oh! Hello? Why? Why? Toutes mes excuses, madame. Trop facile, hein? Look, monsieur. God did not save this queen. Move! Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. The curse of progress. Hand me your monocular. Okay. Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank you, monsieur. Do you copy? We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please state directives. Sentinel 5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue red at a one second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. Acknowledge, Sentinel 5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. Lafayette! Not to worry, monsieur. I'm all right. Leave that, Jimmy! Get going! Come on, I'll cover our bases. Yes, sir! We've gone corner! Come on, let's go! Move! Up for a pint, did you? We encountered some resistance. The rebels are better armed than we expected. Those markings look familiar. It's one of ours. Where'd you find this? Follow me. There is enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igraine even found an art gun in here. I was unaware that we had lost some of our infantry. We haven't. Here, give me a hand with this one. <clears throat> See what's in there. What did you find? Essex M86. Thermite rifle. 
They saw their first field action a few weeks ago. This one hasn't been assigned yet. How did the rebels get their hands on these? I'm making it my business to find out. Uh, uh, begging your pardon, sir. You need it upstairs. That's our cue. I believe Mademoiselle requires our attention. Egrain, we're in position! About time! Move what? out! What took you all so long? I'm reloading. We're clear. Move in. Egrain, go! Oh. Well, Galahad, find us a way out of here. Working on it. How bad is it? The punk. Everyone, stand back. Igniting! Can we move him? It no longer matters, monsieur. Save your prayers, Lafayette. There is no God to help him. Come on. Let's go. Mon de Dieu! Who built this fucking town? Dead ends everywhere! Quite the shortcut. Brilliant. What now? Lafayette! Monocular! Damn it! Reloading! I'll give you cover! They're hiding behind those columns! We need to press forward now. There's a weak spot in the tracks. If I can get up there, I should be able to bring the structure down. Igraine, Lafayette, I'll need you to provide cover. Percival, with me. Where's your commanding officer? Over there. Come on. Sergeant. Sir, what are Majesty's knights doing? Why haven't you secured the perimeter? We heard things up there. So for stay back. Bugger safety. Do you hear that? Where are the rest of the rebels? Exactly. Dead silent. Something's not right. Galahad, did you? I saw it. So what? Half breeds. They're converging from the hospital. We need to disperse them quickly. Call it in. Sentinel 5, this is Galahad. Do you copy? Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. On standby. Sentinel 5. Requesting an immediate sonar payload drop. Confirming Gorton payload deployment. Requesting visual beacon for target location. Oh, damn it. Who has a transmitter? Here, yeah, monsieur. Use my communicator. Oh, the lad's useful after all. Au revoir. 
Looking on beacon. Releasing anchor. Bolton deployment in five. Four. Three. Two. Incoming. All devices off. One. That's our window. Go! Find out where these bloody things are coming from. I'll cover the rear! Monsieur! You will need this. Be careful, my friends. Always, Marquis. Let's hope these work. What does your fabled instinct tell you now? The exit is on the other side. Let's find another way through. This way. What is it? Who's Percival talking to? No one. Just some old sod off the street. Well, let's move. It's only a matter of time before the Lycans regroup and return. Gray, one of us should search the basement. Agreed. I'll head downstairs. All right, I'll go this way. Get on the comm if you find anything.
that you? No, sorry. The half breed is hurt and out for blood. Can you open the gate? I'm trying. Find something to pry it open. I'll clear the debris on this side. All right. Is he? Is he? Stay with me. Come on, Izzy. Come on. Drink. Again. No. Huh? Gray, the ward. To the left, there's, there's something you need to see. What is it? Where 
Rest easy, love. Come, Izzy. I'll help you up. Slowly there. How long was I out? Long enough to have me worried. Galahad, where in the world have you been? First of all, we may have a situation on our hands. What is it? First, call in Nicola. We'll need armament. The rebels turn the psychiatric ward into a hideout in what looks like a staging area. There are clues that indicate a potential threat to the United India Company and Lord Hastings. I'm telling you, I'm fine now. You still need some time to recuperate. I assure you, Gray, I'm perfectly well. Will there ever be a time when you will heed my advice, Izzy? You know the answer to that question. But you would have to obtain Father's blessing first. My friend Galahad. Well, Marquis, where have your concerns for my well-being gone? Oh, Mademoiselle, I never doubted for a moment that you would prevail over these miscreants. However, the same cannot be said of your gallant knight. <laughs> Not a word of this to anyone, Nicola, understand? As you wish. You are taking a big risk. What did I tell you, Monsieur? We'd almost given you up for lost. I... We were unavoidably detained. Come, we don't have much time. Uh, sir, this is for you as well. It should all be in working order. Thank you, Nicola. And the other weapon? Ah, yes. You never fail to deliver. Percival, for you. Might come in handy. The Agamemnon, what's its status? It has already departed on its way to Portsmouth for its last port of call before it leaves for the Americas. And the security detail on board? Have they been made aware of the rebel threat? For all we know, the guard detail could have been infiltrated by the conspirators. We need to unravel this without arousing suspicion. The Council should at least be apprised of this situation. We don't have the luxury of seeking the Council's permission. We're getting aboard that ship. And how would you suggest we do that, Mon General? It is already airborne. That should be easy. You read my mind. Sentinel 5! We are on board. Acknowledged, Sir Percival. Sentinel 5 is eating back and will remain available for support. Confirmed. Thanks for the drop-off, Captain. Good luck, sir. Sentinel 5 out. Is this your idea of easy, monsieur? We're all secure, Percival. We move on your mark. Very well. Hey, Gray! Lafayette! most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marquis. In position. Uh. I'll shatter you. Uh. Let's go. Quick! 
Quickly! Let's get inside! Get ahead! Come on! Stow your gear. Lafayette and Galahad, you need to gain control of the cockpit. Quietly. Understood. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Rules of engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Well, we've worked without a safety net before. That is true. But then again, we are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. Sebastian, I must ask you. Who's the old man you are talking to on Mayfair and Whitechapel? The old man. It's a long story. One that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you are doing. It seems that the Council grows wary of your defiance. The Order is not what it once was, Grayson. Yes. You've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend. All in due time. Stealth mode. Marquis. Mademoiselle has my absolute assurances. I shall be as silent as the grave. The path looks clear of guards. We should hurry. Wait for my go-ahead. On me. Go! Job for a mechanic, not a guard. Don't know why I even bother. Best built ship, my eye. Voila. Galahad, Lafayette. We just encountered resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. Understood. Settle in, boys. Next mooring is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days to the Americas. Smoke grenade. On your mark. Three. Can't even tell we're airborne two, when I'm back in the hold. One. But yeah. Seize the ship in the name of liberty. Percival, the cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall apprise you once I have made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur.
Percival, we have a complication. Lucan is on board. My brother? What is the night commander doing here? Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Lucan. Quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it! He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? I'm risk alerting the rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. He might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. didn't have shoulder patches. Indeed. Keep me informed. Turn so I can see. Batch confirmed. The guard nearest Hastings checks out. Excellent. Check the remaining guards. Percival, we have a rebel on the ground floor. Understood. Keep searching. A patch. Percival, the guard atop the stairs is bona fide. Good. Keep looking. <sighs> Can't see the correct shoulder. There is a rebel on the opposing balcony. Acknowledge. Make sure you check them all. That was the last one. Good. Eliminate any threats. Acknowledge. Weapon loaded. Good hunting. One down. One remaining. Lucan! Rebels! Get Hastings out, now! Get him out of here! Ah! Hastings got away. I need backup. Everyone look to plan B! Percival, the mark is down. Rebels incoming. I need support now. Understood. We'll converge on you. <sighs> what the bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Everyone, fall back! I am! You! Everyone, there's a rebel commander on board. It's the woman from Whitechapel. I'm in for... <clears throat> Severe damage to the starboard side. Emergency response teams to B-12 and B-13. Percival, I've lost the mark. Can you get through? I think so. Look out! That was a close one, old friend. 
Too close for comfort. Leave it be! There must be another way. There's no time! Go on without me, I'll find another way through. And don't lose the mark! Hold your fire! There's no time, Percival. We have to stop him. Trust me, Grayson. Listen to me, lad. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with. We are not the enemy. Then prove it! Stop this madness. No. Not as long as the company is allowed to carry on and obstruct it. They won't. We'll see to it. It's too late. Sebastian! Friend. You don't have to do this. I'm here. Izzy, can you hear me? the crush. Keep searching! Is he? It's me. Gray? Gray, respond! Where the hell are you? Everyone! Sir Galahad is alive! Find him! <laughs> Huh. <sighs> 
I'll do this alone. You two head up to the council. Great. It's all right, is he? I'll join you in time for the succession. Mes pensées sont avec vous, monsieur. My condolences. Sir Percival was a great man. The best of us. I took the liberty of keeping these aside. I know it is not standard protocol. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. My brother. So he was. But concern yourself with the upcoming solemnities. The rest can wait. Too many questions remain, Alistair. I intend to find answers. Mallory's death will be avenged. Do not fall prey to dark thoughts of retribution. That way madness lies. Come. The Council awaits our presence. Lord Hastings is on his way from the United India House. He wishes to thank you in person for saving his life and the lives of all the other people on the ship. The United India Company owes you a debt of gratitude. For over six centuries, the night call Sir Percival sat with us in Brotherhood. He saw entire kingdoms perish, and others equally transitory take their place. He saw the rise of the half-breeds, and was relentless in their pursuit. To all these things he bore witness, because he was blessed by this. The Grail. The black water that courses through our veins. The bond that unites this order. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet, it cannot ensure immortality. Now, Sebastian Mallory, once Sir Percival is dead. There is a tradition of bestowing a knighthood in our order only on the occasion of the death of him who bears that honor and burden. Generation after generation, new knights have taken the names of their hallowed predecessors. We are assembled here today on just such a solemn occasion. From blood of old. The Grail will give new life to you, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock, Gilbert de Mortier, Marquis de Lafayette, swear to uphold the most noble precepts of our order 
Do you pledge to give your life in service to our righteous cause? With all my heart and soul. Drink. May the Grail give you life beyond life. By this communion, you are bound to our sacred order. Henceforth, only your blood shall replenish this vial. May the black water serve you well. Always use it wisely. I dub thee Sir Percival, servant of our great king and knight of the round table. Rise, Sir Percival, and assume your rightful place at our table. Guards! Remove Sebastian Mallory's body from the council chamber and take him to the crypt. This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Heartbreeds. No. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must have... Public buildings destroyed! Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Circumstantial evidence! Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. As Mallory wished. My lords! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights to arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all! Sir Galahad! This matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death! Of that you can be sure. Arm yourselves, and take defensive positions on the bridge! Galahad, your command. Let's go. Sir Galahad! The carriage carrying Lord Hastings was hit in the middle of the bridge. We're not sure if anyone's alive. Lucan, Egrain, Percival, with me! <laughs> 
Hastings may still be alive. We must reach him. I'll cover you. Lucan, Egrain, on my mark. Pull him out when I left the carriage. Understood. Ready? Now! We have him! Everyone fall back to the palace. Gray, where are you going? To finish what we started. This is no time for vengeance! Come to your senses! That one's my Gray, stop! stop. Oi! You two! I need one over here, the other on the right! Come on, hurry! Sentinel-3, I need air support. We are approaching your position, Sir Galahad. Acknowledge. The rebels are in retreat. The royal army is en route. They will contain the threat from here. <clears throat> Fuck the army. This is my fight. Galahad, this is a direct command. Stand down. Galahad, what are you doing? Come to your senses and return to the palace. Where's the Indian woman? Where is she? Where is she? Where? Tell me! Tell me! White Chapel. Brothel. Where is Sir Galahad? Lady Igraine. Sir Galahad is near the east end of the bridge. Stay on him until we can get to his position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. Leonard! A drink! A drink, goddamn you! Absinthe! Are you drowning in your sorrows, or your ignorance, knight? Neither. I was waiting for you to show up. And? I need some answers. Answers? Is that why you killed all my men? Death always follows in your path. And yours will be next if you don't give me what I need. You'll have to excuse me if your offer doesn't entice me. I don't respond well to threats. Then you're a 
of no use to me. Do your worst. So much animosity. You look like you can use some of this, Knight. The black water. But how did you get Shall we call this a temporary truce? Apna hatare niche karo. Devi. If it keeps you at ease, you can keep your gun pointed. But I am the one you seek, not her. We have much to discuss. Let us find a more private setting. Let's leave us alone. Let's talk about it. Let's go to Black Oak. Your authority, Rani. You seek to avenge your friend Mallory. Do not presume to speak his name. He was betrayed. You have all been betrayed. Betrayed? By whom? The men you call masters. The Order of Knights calls no one master. Not even the Queen. <laughs> You are an empire of bootlickers groveling at the feet of the mighty United India Company. Guard your tongue, woman! Your honorable cooperation spreads the very scourge you have so valiantly sworn to fight. The rantings of a fanatic! You seek the wrong enemy. We both fight the same evil. Why should I believe the word of a rebel? And an assassin? We are more alike than you think. We have nothing in common! Do not allow your friend to have died in vain! Enough! Tell me why I should not kill you! There are things worse than death, Knight. Much worse. And if it is mine you seek in your misguided quest, then so be it. My death is a worthy sacrifice. Do you deny the attempt to kill Lord Hastings? He deserves to die, along with every one of his collaborators. And you expect us to just step aside while you carry out your campaign of terror? Things are not as they seem. The company's secrets are well kept, even from the Order. What secrets? I do not have time for games! There is little I can say to sway your convictions. But there are things I can show you to give you the explanation you need. Your answers await at the company's docks in Blackwall Yard. But we must hurry. You had better be right. For your own sake. The underground tunnels would lead us to Blackwall Yard. Be prepared to meet heavy resistance from the United India Guards. Until I say otherwise, we will not harm innocent men. None of them are innocent. All the same, you will abide by my rules if you expect me to follow you. Very well. Hanging up your colors so soon? The Order cannot be seen as having any part of this.
games are you playing? The support structure has collapsed. Such a gallant knight. Let's move up. Quickly, take cover. Who's there? <sighs> this is private property. Oh, I uh, feared as much. I was lost in the tunnels. Who the devil are you? Another lost traveller in this infernal city, it appears. If you don't mind me asking, where am I? Blackwall Yard. United India Docks. Oh, definitely not where I thought. <laughs> well, you're going to have to go back the way you came. Back through the tunnels? Oh, a trifle easier to climb up to the streets, wouldn't you say? Back you go. Don't worry. He's only resting. Though his head might pain him for some time after. Give me your hand. I'll unlock the gate from inside. Here, I'll help you. <clears throat> Hurry! A patrol is bound to pass this way sooner or later. Just a moment longer. Sniper! <laughs> much for keeping this friendly. Damn it, I'm in no mood to jest. You said you had proof. Where is it? 
patience, Knight. We're almost there. On my count of three. One, two. They're in here! Hurry! Look out! Lock the door! Don't let them out! What is he doing here? Devi, it's all right. You can speak freely. Devi, go on. It is the same as the airship, Rani. The cargo is bound for the Americas and the West Indies. How many? More than twice the last shipment. They are making up for lost time. This shipment cannot reach the shores of the new continent. There's more. Security is on high alert. His name was mentioned. They are arranging a meeting. We may be in luck yet. Whose name was mentioned? One of your esteemed lords. If he's coming here for a meeting, then you shall see for yourself. Operations, how convenient for him. You imagine conspiracies when none exist. Look at the cargo night and talk to me of fantasies. Devi, I need you to go and guard the escape routes. Well, Rani, I should escort you. It, it is my duty to protect you. Devi, it's an order. Why do you think they are hiding us, huh? To keep the docks safe? Why then? Help me out. I'll take a look inside. <laughs> I see a number of guards. We need to move quietly. to safety! This way. On my mark. Be prepared to cover me. <laughs> Deserted. A very ill omen. They must have fallen back to regroup. We might only have a small window of opportunity before they return. Now, the proof woman. As you wish. What now? Inspect the cargo. Look for any distinguishing marks on the crates. Here. This must be what we're looking for. Help me get this one down.
Crowbar. Look, hard night. See the evil we both fight against. Vampires. It can't be. How? The half-breeds are consolidating their power. With the protection of the Lycans in your land, Hastings and his vampire ilk are spreading disease throughout your... Lord so Hastings, you can't be one of them. Many have witnessed in Whitechapel your noble lord roaming the streets late at night, preying on downtrodden women. The Ripper Killings. That is what you call them. How do you think the murderer still continues to evade Commissioner Doyle's dragnet? Whitechapel has become the kindred's feeding ground. How many more of these are there? Enough to affect a city. God's blood. Let's move on to the rest. Very well. Go! Take care of the remaining cargo. I'll deal with this time. Granny, are you in there? Stay! Hey. with you! I'm not glad to hear your voice. Granny, are you hurt? No. Not yet, but hurry! Break down the door! At once, Granny! to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. We can't the company's them forces forever. are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Night. Did not tempt fate. Our work here is done. <sighs> this horror must be made known to the Council. Tread carefully, Knight. The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would The war has turned against the half-breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight. Sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. Would only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. Gray! What in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me! I saw you at Whitechapel! What? You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time! Grey, what's happened to you? No. Oh. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is, for God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. Hmm. 
You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library! The conspiracy runs to the very heart of the Council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I show- I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions! All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh, yes. Elementary. Now, what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. And who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. We're here. Back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones at that. Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Mm. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops. <clears throat> Francis' intelligence does pan out. A trustworthy man, it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Failure to deliver on his word to prove most... Gazebo seems to fit the parameters. Good. Let's deploy the line. Done. Alistair, 
I need you to stay here and spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. Uh, do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her. Gallant knight. It seems I came just in time. I suppose so. Though it would not be in my nature to let a god get the better of me. Did you come alone? They've been feeling out with me. They're taking care of the rest of the guards and you. I could not risk involving my squad, but there is one more with me. And you trust this person? Yes. With my life. Very well. What now? We will meet him inside and proceed to the archives room. Let's go. I need you to stay. Ronnie, I need to be by your side. You always are, child. What of him and his accomplice? Heed my advice. Do you not know how dear you are to me? Then why do you push me away? Because I need you to continue the cause if something happened to me. Do not say that. Debbie, though you may not trust me, know that I will protect your queen in your stead. I know I knew that much. See that you do. You do not want to get on the bad side of that one. Hold your fire! This is Lakshmi Bai, the leader of the rebellion. She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We needed help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions and suffer the consequences, as Mallory did. I hope you're right, Gray. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. There they are! Far end of the lobby! Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Here, yeah, the Agamemnon shipment. 
Destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It sets sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Things. Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The Whitechapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured, and a traitor revealed, all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! Stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. 
We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's knights. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. A man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is... Irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir so Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company, and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings! Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night. Accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat. Discarded near the rebel hideout. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards and entered my chambers, intent on killing me. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 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 The sentence is death. Come on, you. 
pick it up. We thought you'd about giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Let's see enough of rant. Closer. Surrender yourself! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Gently, my friend. Will he survive? That is for him to decide. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. My friend. My friend. You must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for you. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if you'll make it through. Do not be a fool, Nicola! I do not have a choice! If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. You're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. But come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. 
Nicola. How do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. Come, let's go. Lakshmi, the Blackwater. How did you come about it? It was... Whitechapel is this way. Lady Agrain, there is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. God be my witness. I will see to the end of the rebellion. Everyone, leave! Now! We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the authorities raid Whitechapel and make prisoners of every man and woman. Salvage what you can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Have you lost your senses? The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. Alistair knows you. He'll expect you to come. I know. Then we will go together. No. This is a fight that I must see through, alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it, knight. Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. And I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. I'll be there shortly.
Nicola, what happened? Lady Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Uh, uh, Come on. He's still in there. Uh, uh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. I've lived too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born 
and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <coughs> slaughtering each other in the name of their so-called God. We will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? <laughs> My kind... <coughs> My kind are no more evil than yours. <coughs> what of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Izzy. My father. <coughs> I loved them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. No, no. It is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. I cannot be the one to end his life. Isabeau and the Council must never discover the truth, lest all you hold dear perish. Do not ask this of me. Henceforth, you shall have fellowship with no knights. The Order must remain united. You are no longer one of its Heralds, finish what you have begun and vanish! Men were never meant to live this life. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <coughs> Maybe then. We shall know true peace. Sir Galahad, can you hear me? Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friends. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad, no more. <laughs>